Hey, good day folks, welcome to Floral Friday and today we'll be covering uh, the mighty baobab. Okay, so it's definitely considered the world's largest succulent um, and not a tree as it does not have true heartwood and uh, cambium. But the baobab can be used for multiple uh, uses. Firstly here you can see where elephants have been feeding on the tree and they feed on this to obviously get food but also because this tree is filled with water. Uh, what we can use this for if you take the the bark or to do is that you uh, roast the bark and you can then use that ash as a salt substitute. Also what you can use the bark for you would take longer strips like above there you'd strip that down and then you can use those strips uh, to make mats fishing ropes uh, and fishing nets also what you can use the bourbon for is its fruits okay these fruits are delightful they are very rich in vitamin C uh, quite sour to the taste and then once you finish sucking the, the um, flesh off the fruit you then get the seed and then what you can use the seed for is you would ground that seed sorry roast it then you grind it up for a coffee substitute the baobab also has very edible leaves you cook them as you would cook spinach just add a little bit of your salt also what you can uh, eat off the baobab is the flowers they're huge they're very white and uh, used as a relish very very tasty the baobab also has a cultural um, connotation as a lot of local tribes right throughout Africa believe that when you die your soul takes refuge and rest inside a baobab and that's where you'll stay for you know a few thousand years um, back on earth also another cultural belief is that you're not allowed to eat the flowers that are on the tree so children were warned if you want to eat the flowers you eat the flowers that have fallen and if you had climbed the tree and picked the flowers off the tree it is believed that you would have been attacked by a crocodile or a lion so it's a little bit of cultural conservation and action